welcome back to my channel and to another video. So in today's video, I am going to do something I absolutely hate doing. Like, I put this off for so, so long. I'm actually going to clean my filming room, which from what you guys see, looks quite tidy. Yeah, I'm surrounded by like boxes, rubbish, makeup that I haven't put away since I went home. I went home two months ago. So I think it's time that I actually sort this all out. I have some like diabetes stuff that needs sorting as well. Um, not like dangerous stuff, just like I need to put boxes into my drawers just so they're out the way. So I thought I would film for you guys because I thought this is the only way I can do it. I do apologize if you can hear the hoover. We are doing like a house clean today. So everyone's kind of cleaning. So I'm going to try and tackle this as best as I can, as quickly as I can, because I don't want to spend my whole day doing it. But I want to tidy this whole room, organise everything. I want to even clean my makeup brushes, because I haven't done that in so, so long, which sounds manky. And I need to do it. And I thought I'd just have like a little chit chat with you guys, kind of go with the flow. I look so weird. I need help. But... Without further ado, let's get into actually cleaning my filming room and showing you what a mess it is. So this is my pile of makeup and there's a glass in there and it's just not very nice. I then have all around here, under the desk, there's a box. That box has been here for seven months because I have no idea where to put all the stuff from it because it's literally odds and sods that don't really fit anywhere in the house. I then have, this is where I work. Monday to Friday, it's my little laptop over here, my screen. I then have all this makeup that needs organising and cleaning and sorting out. And there's a lot of rubbish on the floor. So then we come to my medical side. Ready? Three, two, one. So this is a box full of tablets that I need to organise and put into a pill pot. I have Omnipods. I have quite a lot of stuff I need sorting. Right, so I think I'm gonna start with my, I'm gonna start with my medical stuff because I feel like that's like priority at the minute and sorting out all these boxes that are on the floor. It is so hot in here today, I'm literally melting, but we're gonna get through it. So I'm gonna sit on the floor because I feel like that would help me. Oh, and I also have this mirror that's never actually been hung. So that's fun. I'm melting in here, it's so hot. Right. So I'm gonna go bottom to top in these drawers because I need to organize them all. I have this big bag of used Dexcoms that I need to organize and to get them put somewhere and um, probably take them to a pharmacy and see if they would take them and incinerate them because they are sharps, but they're like in case sharps. So I'm not like, I haven't got like needles out down here. I then have an empty box. Another empty box. Some Omnipod cases, so these are for my blood machine. And if you guys want to see like a day in the life of my like diabetes, which is kind of different to other people's because I have an Omni uh, Dexcom that reads my sugars 24 seven, so I don't have to like prick my finger. And I have an Omnipod that injects, so I don't have to like inject myself. But if you guys want to see it and like see what I kind of do, let me know. I'd love to like know what you guys want. I then have another empty box. I then have a few like needles for my pens. So for my Omnipod fails, I then got them as backups. Another empty box. This is my Omnipod. Right, I'm going to grab my new Dexcoms. So they are just delivered to my house. So they're in different boxes this time. Usually they're in like flip ups. And they've also changed the sticky on these, I think, because I'm actually having a reaction to them at the minute, which is very annoying. But two so i get nine i get nine pods and they're delivered every three months and if any of you guys are diabetic and have any questions about anything that i use let me know like comment below and i'll reply to you guys but i now have another empty box another empty box because i'm lazy and i just kind of throw everything everywhere Oh, I also always, so this is how I treat my hypos, if my sugars drop low, I have dextros and I buy like a bulk of them on Amazon for like £15, but my favourite ones are the tropical ones, they're the only ones I can stand eating, I don't really like any of them to be honest. Um, so I have four packs of them, I probably need to order some more. So this is kind of where I have all my other stuff, so I've got my old pod, which I had the AccuCheck 
spirit combo um, I have that just in case, but I don't actually know why I have it anymore. I think I just have it out of sentimental value because I don't have anything to use it with anymore. This is for my keto monitor, just in case I have ketones in my sugars, um, which is really bad for you and can cause you to like be really ill and sick and can sometimes end up in hospital. I also have my AccuCheck strips, which are for my old pot, like my old blood machine and some multi clicks AccuCheck because they're the only ones I like. I do have a preference on everything. I don't have another blood machine because I'm a spare one from the hospital. Two more blood machines just in case I have one that fails because apparently I'm very very cautious of all of this. And then I have my insulin pens just in case I need a spare one because I always carry one with me. So I have two new boxes of Omnipods which again I just order online they get delivered to me. So I'm just going to slip them in there. And my dextrose always go at the front just so I know where they are and I put my blood machines at the back because I have one already I don't need like all of these to hand all the time but I know where they are they're in this drawer and I like I do like it to be organized I just don't organize it enough and I kind of just throw things in sometimes but that is that drawer all organized I'll like show you down here so look it's all organized I like it it's pretty so now we move into my tablet drawer, which I do need to organise and make sure I have everything in. So this is my contraceptive pill. You don't really want to know have everything that I've got, but I'm just going to organise this. And like they say, a clean like room, a clean mind, which I actually agree with 100%. So I'm going to make sure I've got all my tablets in my boxes. So I've got some ibuprofen here. More allergy relief, more allergy relief. You can tell it's summer. I just want to empty this all out. I'm just going to grab it all out. Oh, look, got some strepsils. Muscle relief for some reason. Today was not the day to do this. But if I don't do it today, I won't ever do it. More cardboard. I want to be able to find everything in my drawer and know what everything is. Which is going to be a challenge because I want to like lay it out so I can read it all. Anyone ever needs allergy relief or painkillers, just let me know. <laughs> so it's not just a beauty room, it's actually everything. So I'm just going to sit and do this and I'm going to show you once I've done it because I feel like I'm not being very interesting because I need to concentrate on what I'm putting in. So I'll actually see you in a minute. I've done it. I've actually done it and I'm actually really proud of it. So all organized, sitting upright so I can see everything. Anything that doesn't have a box is out and just on top of where it should be. So I'm so happy with that. That did take a while for me to do, to be honest, but it's done now. So now onto the next drawer, which is full of camera stuff, apparently. And an empty Omnipod box. Oh, I know what's in here. So every time I get a new order of Omnipods, they send me batteries and I don't change my batteries that much. So I have a massive box of batteries just in case I run out. Um, a bit like a cyborg, always have batteries just in case I need to change them. So whenever people need batteries in the house, they just come in here and they can just grab them. So that's just in this drawer. And then I also have this cable which is for connecting my Omnipod to be able to read it at home but it's never worked, the software doesn't work on the computers, like the newer computers and I've never received any others down there. iPhone charger from Poundland, or if you have a spare. This is my first ever camera, this is the camera that I bought when I first started my YouTube. This cost me about £300 and it had like the little flip up screen this one has a flip out screen that i'm filming on right now i still love this but it's so clean now um i did lend it to my auntie and uncle but they didn't want to use it so i now just have like a spare camera um just in case i need it i also have it for like vlogging but it's still quite heavy but it's not as heavy as this one and also it's not as good quality i also have like the charger and the lead I'm just going to organise it so it's all sort of put away. So yeah, that's kind of organised. There's not much I need to do to that one. This one can be emptied because it's just got 
empty decks coming boxes in. So that's now an empty drawer. Empty drawer. Next one up. Empty drawer. Oh, then I have a drawer up here which is just full of all products that I can't use or don't really want to use. Um, so if people want to use it. So it's just all up here for people. And then the top drawer is just full of all stuff that I used for moving. <laughs> like a paint sample for the room. These bits to attach the mirror to my wall which still haven't been done. And some glue for something that my dad was doing up here that's just in the drawer up the top here. But that is my drawers all organised, that has taken so long. So now we have the top part of my drawers, which is a mess. And I don't really want to show it because it's embarrassing. So I'm just going to sort that out and then I'll show you after it's done. Okay, so I am back. It is now the next day and I look a bit weird because I've put space buns in, but I quite like them to be honest. And I have green eyes. Bit out there. But I have done everything. Yesterday kind of disappeared, so I didn't actually get to finish. I literally still have a whole room to clean and I have about two hours to do it. So I have organized the top of my drawers. They have like boxes that I need to take to the post office, my pill box and my sharps box for all my sharps. I'm now gonna sort out all this cardboard and like dismantle it or like flatten it. And then I'm gonna take that out to the bin so that I can just get rid of all this cardboard that's on the floor because I think that's like, one of my biggest issues is that the floor's a mess. So, this is what I'm dealing with. A whole pile of rubbish. So I'm just gonna flatten everything and put anything. I've got this big black sack here for all my rubbish. The main part I kind of want to show you guys is like my makeup, so I'm just going to whiz through this quickly and then I'll be back to do my makeup. Right, okay, so now I need to sort out all of this that's on the side here and put it into drawers. So I'm going to start with my like full makeup bag that has like all my foundations in and I'm going to organise my foundations. If you want to see like a full video on my drawers then there is a video off my channel and i'll link it down below for you guys because my dad made me inserts for my drawers so that everything's divided and everything's in the right place and i love it so i'm just gonna put all these back in i have so many nails concealers and like drugstore foundations but i don't really use them i feel like i should stick foundations nars foundations more concealers, concealers, and then the rest of it's in there isn't in this drawer. So I'm going to put in this one. I have a lot of NARS foundations. When I lay it out like this, it looks like I've got so much like makeup, but then I actually go to wear it and I'm like, mmm, mmm, we could have more, we want more. So I'm just tidying up my desk area now putting in my new stuff that I got yesterday. Eyebrow going in there. I'm actually gonna clean all my sponge, my, my, my brushes and my sponges today and I'm so excited. So that's that drawer done. Organized, needs to clean, but they're in there. And I feel like that, that's, that's as good as it's gonna get today because I'm not sitting there cleaning all my makeup, which sounds really disgusting, but I don't do it on other people. I literally do my own makeup, so I don't need to really worry too much. Right, so I've got powders, so I've got my Tarte. This is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder, which I don't really like using, unless it's like creative looks, which is what I did yesterday. Um, so if you guys haven't seen my glow up, then that is on my channel. I also have my Fenty Beauty Powder, which I got yesterday, which I accidentally turned it over and shook it like this, not expecting so much to come out, so now I've got powder everywhere. I don't think any of my sections are big enough. Here we go. Perfect. I can go there. I'll put my bronzers in as well. What do they go up here? I have so much stuff that I need sorting. This is what I do. So when products start running out and they're like this, I chop off the top and then I slide it back on to kind of keep the product going a little bit longer. But I think that's like gone now. There's no way I can save that. 
I still have a little bit in these Laura Mercier powders, so they're going to stay in there as well. Or oh, BB cream. Right, so next draw up is highlighters. So I have so many in here. I actually love seeing this all organised. So if I bring you over. This is organised, and I'm going to go back down because I need to put this product in. And then we have this, which is organised. I just want more products, to be honest. But yeah, powders, 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 bronzers. And then we still have all of this up here that needs sorted out. There we go, so we have palettes in this drawer. So I'm going to put in Huda Beauty, goes in here. I haven't actually bought any new palettes in quite a while. And then we've got Shade and Light. Got the Naked Cherry palette, which I think I've used like once now to review it on my channel. I think I need to use that a bit more. All right, I think Kat Von D will go with Kat Von D, even though it's a shading palette. Um, the K just about fits in there. Oh, I've got some other palettes. This one came in a subscription box, the Forgive Me Susie palette. That can go at the back with all my kind of, I want to say not rubbish palettes, but my cheaper palettes. Then I've got Juvia's Place. Oh, I forgot about this palette. I love this palette. The Riviera palette. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot about that. I need to use it. So then I have my next drawer down, which is kind of like all my other palettes. So like James Charles. Here we got Jeffree Star. More Morphe. And then I also put all my like bags in here. And then when you order from Selfridges, you get these cute little bags and I absolutely love keeping them. And they're perfect for traveling. So I always put like makeup in them um, and it kind of keeps it all separate. Oh, it's tin, I think I'll put that in there. It's kind of like a storage thing. Oh, I got the cutest little bag from Birchbox, this bag here. Adorable, I want to use it all the time. I think that's all that side done. Moving on to the next side, I'm really sorry if you can see my belly, but no shame. So now we're at our next drawers. So the top drawer is lipsticks, which have all kind of fallen out. My bag full of lipstick here, because when I go away, I can never decide which lipstick I want to wear. So I take all of them. Almost all of them, like my favorites. Nude, nude. I love this highlighter, but it has actually run out, so I'm gonna put it in the bin, I'm gonna just keep it. And that is all of my lipsticks. So now the next drawer down is a lot more tidy. It's like my mascaras, my eyeliners, and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna put my eyeliners, mascaras, eye mascaras, my eyeliner, eyelash glue, glitter. And then I have glue, which goes in my bottom drawer, which is all full of all my special effects stuff. So I'm now just gonna put everything in for my special effects, and then I'm gonna head upstairs and clean my brushes because they're in need of a deep clean today. Okay, so I am now upstairs to wash my brushes. I'm gonna try a new thing today, which is what Jamie Genevieve does wash her brushes, and I've seen quite a few other people do it, is use a sieve and some soap to wash out the makeup out of your brushes because it acts like, I don't know how to put it, like it gets in between the bristles. So I have all of my brushes here and my sponges and my eyelash curlers because I don't think I've ever actually washed my eyelash curlers. Probably should. So I'm now just gonna like do one brush and I'll sort of do a speed through of doing the other brushes. Hopefully it won't take too long. And then what I've done is I've got this here in the sun so they can sit on it and dry so I'm hoping that will work fingers crossed but luckily I won't need these brushes again till next weekend so they've got plenty of time to dry so I'm now going to get into this I'm really sorry if you can see my belly again okay so I've got a sink full of water I'm going to put a bit of soap in the water I'm kind of nervous because I've got my really expensive makeup brushes up here so I think I might try it with like one of my cheaper ones and then I'm going to get my MAC brush, which is covered in pink. And we're going to see whether we can get some of this out. Oh, that was really quick. It's now clean already. That's crazy. And then kind of... Okay, that's clean already. Look at that. So I'm going to just put this on the side to dry in the sun. I'm going to try this brush, which is my Smith 115 brush. 
which I haven't used in ages. It's for the foundation because I haven't washed it in so long. Clean, apparently. In fact, it's as clean as it's going to get. I want to try this brush, but I'm very nervous. And then swirl it around in here. Apparently that's clean. I'm just going to grab one more pump. No, that's definitely not clean. Look at that. Am I doing this wrong? Because I seem to be using a lot of water to do this. Okay, apparently this is now clean. Okay, so I'm now just going to speed through this because this is taking so, so long. Slowly, slowly. Okay, so I've now done my brushes. I think I may have ruined one of them and I'm really sad about it because it's my expensive ones, but I think I like pressed too hard and it's now gone. Wait, let me see if I can show you. It's not really focusing, but it's all like curved, not as small as it used to be, but we will see. So I'm gonna leave them to dry. I'm just gonna clean up where I've been like cleaning my brushes and basically it's gone everywhere, but I will clean that all up just so it doesn't look like I've been cleaning my brushes all day. So now I'm gonna head back downstairs. I'm gonna hoover my bedroom, or not my bedroom, my room, and then I'm just gonna wipe everything down and I'll be done, and I'm so happy. It's taken me three hours today to do this, to get ready and then film this video. But I do love my eyes, let me know what you think. So now I'm going to hoover the floor. And lastly, I'm gonna wipe down my sides with some micellar water because I covered it in foundation and I thought that's the best way to get it off. Ew, look at that. Okay, so I'm now gonna finish off putting everything away, just making sure everything's a bit tidier in here and then I'll quickly show you guys what I've done and then have a little sit down and be like, I've done my room. Okay, so that has taken me a good three hours to do, which probably is just too long, but I wanted to make sure I kind of did it, and it's kind of how I do it. I take a while to do it, which is why I don't do it all the time. But it is all clear, clean, tidied. I am so, so happy with how this looks. Um, I haven't cleaned down the front of my drawers, which is probably what I need to do next, but I'm just... I'm ready to go out, I want to go out today. So we're gonna head out, but let me know down below what sort of videos you guys want. As I said before, this channel is for you guys. I kind of want to make content that you guys want to see and just let me know what that is and let me know if there's any like specific, this lighting in here is awful. We'll go down here, there we go. And just let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see on this channel. Do comment that below. But also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me tidy, which is really weird. But also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers are growing by the day. And I'm so, so happy and thankful for you guys that do subscribe to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.